and welcome into another episode of Vampires and Vitae. We're hoping to take a little bit of stress out of your already crazy lives, and like normal, we're going to start with a little bit of a recap from last week. Uh, Tyler? All right. In the last episode, we started in the parking lot right outside of the main Tokyo Strip. We decided to do a series of backflips for no apparent reason. Day decided he was going to trip on mushrooms because it's Japan, it's weird, why not? Anna actually followed suit and also took some. Rasputin apparently is also on some, some other level. I'm not sure what he took, but he's he's feeling it. Uh, the Jessicar and Danica played a game with swords, uh, a kind of like a catch em game to uh, test a reaction time. We kind of puttered around uh, just looking for stuff to do, ended up in this uh, hotel kind of casino feeding ground amalgamation where Anna, who was always looking for a snack, got to see a basically a vending machine of people just going by. Uh, she got to feed on uh, a couple different people. Uh, we were sat down, they were about to start a sumo wrestling match uh, between a large sumo wrestler and a younger bit looking martial artist. Uh, before it started, though, out of the abyss, apparently, appeared Dumb David, the man who was too dumb to die, uh, which was a bit of a shock because we are very far away from Las Vegas right now. Anna and Danica managed to convince him that it was nothing more than a weather storm. It's all in his head. Don't trust the media. Fake news. Day is tripping balls. He wants to know what's going on with that fucking cane. That's what's going on. That's what's happening. Welcome to Vampire. start from my left. Uh, why don't you tell us who you're playing today? I'm Melinda and I play Anna. She's a Tremere. Rasputin is her sire and uh, people think that she's a little wacky. She talks with about the Eastern European accent. Okay, Sarah, who are you uh, playing today? Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. I'm playing Danica. She is a Toreador vampire who somehow is built like a tank. So whenever the group gets into fights, she's usually leading point. Um, she's Got a good friendship going with Anna, and then kind of hates Day, but I guess they're working that out. Okay. And Tyler, tell me a little bit about your character. Hey everybody, how's it hanging? I'm Tyler. I play Day, the homebrew thin blood with a very intense friendship with Lords. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. So the gong goes off, and a yes, a sumo, what you'd consider. Very traditional. Rasputin is sitting on the edge of his seat. Like this is not going to be like what you normally think of. You could hear people betting in the background. You know, like mm -hmm. Rasputin, you should place the bets. I don't know the other guy yet. And comes like another gong goes off, and walks in is a very slight man, maybe five five. Uh, serious haircut. You know, he has that no messing around. Very very well cropped, short black hair, just just thick as possible, as huge mm -hmm. as it could be. Seems to be late in his 20s, and uh, he's wearing gray gi. My uh, money's on the skinny one, Rasputin. Put the bet on the skinny one. Waves his hand over, and the guy comes in. They have a translation back and forth of it. And then, like, the guy's eyes go real big. Just for fun, yeah, I'd like too. to bet on the other guy. I'm also going with the underdog. Who's the underdog? The small guy, the obviously. Small guy? <laughs> okay. Apparently, this isn't like a money bet. It's a thing bet. Do you have anything on you or like a service you could provide? Like they hand you up an i like an iPad, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, Malkavian check mark. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. take me on a very weird adventure. Like mm -hmm. maybe that's what that would be. Like mm -hmm. if you'd lost the bet, you would do something like that. Mm -hmm. And the other one, you know what I mean, like the, the next one down is like Toriador, like dazzle mm -hmm. me with beauty. You know, like dance mm -hmm. for me for ten minutes. It's all stuff, and it comes down to uh, Bruja. It's uh, if you lose the bet. You gotta fight for this individual one time at their request. I'm on it. All right, check the box. I'd Shit. like to bet on the larger man. All right, cool. 
Toreador uh, says uh, strip, uh, dance, or paint. What is paint? Like when you pick, when you click Toreador, mm-hmm. like you can either you can either do like a very seductive dance for if like whoever against the house they you owe the house mm-hmm. you know a very seductive dance, then you would have. Paint, you know, Toreador or painters, like maybe mm-hmm. like make a, a portrait for somebody. Or, or strip. There was one more. Dance, strip, da- uh, Yeah, well, I mean, strip or dance. Like, if, let's say that you were a classical dancer, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay. I mean, like, it would be just as beautiful to watch. I'll go with the strip option. Okay. Because Danica worked in a club, so mm-hmm. that's probably the most Anna familiar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Anna Brothel, so that's the most familiar mm-hmm. to her. And Rasputin's made his own bet, so, but, like, the guy was definitely, like, a little blown away from, like, his choice, whatever he did. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, right. He just checks all the boxes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. oh, like, Let him ride one more time. I mean, oh, like. Great. Yeah, right. No, um, so uh, there's a tree when all of you guys bet, and it's uh, three options that, uh, that you could have had. Give me your three options, and I'll roll which one you pick. What would be something interesting for you guys to get? Oh, as I thought a we were just picking of the three. No, no, that's what you're betting against. Yeah, that's what we give up if we lose. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, th- three things for us to win. Mm-hmm. Um, they would probably want drugs of some kind. I would. My store. I would like some ancient vampire blood. Well, then you have to like make your own bets because I bet for something a little bit bigger. No, it's fine. I can make my own bet. Okay. So okay. You go down to Tremere. Yeah. Uh, you get Tremere. It goes interesting flesh crafting. Mm-hmm. Uh, odd splicing, which would be like putting two things together that don't normally come together, or tell a secret, like a blood secret that like people like a uh, like a magician re- revealing the trick. Oh, so I smell the blood and then I tell the secret of a person? No, like like, like, like cult wise. Yeah. Oh. Like you give, you give a, like a great truth. Okay, sure. Okay, out of those three. Tell the great truth. Tell the great truth, and you're yeah. betting on the little dude. The little guy. Yeah. Okay. Most people like, I know I like the little guy too. All right, your little guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what were your uh, What were your three things? And I'll roll. My three rewards? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't do that right with you. Yeah. So, so out of those three, I'm going to roll for you at 10. So, one through three. Oh, no, is, what is, I think she was, she was picking what she's going to give. Oh, give she up. Has better, yes, she has right. better rewards. Sorry, so what's what? your rewards? Yes, my rewards. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want the vial of ancient vampire blood. Okay. I would like... It'll be one through three. I would like... Ooh, I would like um, a new spell, like a new parchment that has a spell on it. She likes books. Maybe yeah. like, oh, okay. Maybe like okay. a book. Okay, yeah. sure, like ancient um, knowledge. Yeah. And... I would like... fluffy pajamas. Okay. <laughs> There was like 80 things for you to pick out of. Those are your top three. This is the gambling part of it. Well, I mean, before you gamble. So one through three is the first option, uh, four through blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Seven, so you get fluffy, fluffy pajamas. Fluffy pajamas. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so that's the one up. All right, so what are your three? I would like... I like having one gag in there. I mean, it's kind of fun. A beautiful geisha to feed on. Okay. That's one A... An expensive, like, jade necklace with jewels on it, mm-hmm. or one favor from the Japanese mafia. No, one of them has to be a gag. A what? A gag. A, gag. a, funny. a funny thing. Oh, like my fluffy pajamas. So instead of then um, styling your dog's hair perfectly. <laughs> well, like, then. Oh, no, you could give Cerberus <laughs> the haircut and make him look like a tiger. <laughs> so instead of. It's um, still a win, but it's not. Yeah. Like a Instead of the geisha, can I do the favor from the mafia, Japanese mafia? That's your one through three. And then um, the third one, yeah, like a spa day for Cerberus. Spa day for Cerberus it is. All right. right, So So, uh, out of the three, I would like um, either an experimental drug, a streetcar, or the entire Naruto collection. Okay. Because uh, Day is super into anime. <laughs> and Naruto it was. Oh, I mean, yeah. I, mean, like, I'm sorry, I don't guys. like the die I that you're rolling. Like, I'm sorry. The two tens, like, you, trust me, you'd prefer me to roll, roll my tens now. Yeah. I mean, like. All the gag gifts, though, right? Mm-hmm. Very funny. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. So, Riz, is that okay with you? 
pets? No, spa day. Scratches? Scratches, a nice wash, a haircut. Mm, Pretty. Wash. Haircut. They'll trim your nails. Mm. Brush your teeth. Pretty doggy. It'll make you so handsome. Meaty? <laughs> <laughs> Why, well, if you're too fast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like he like wags his tail. Like, You're already so handsome, Cerberus, but it'll be very relaxing for you. Just look at Fine. <laughs> Fine. They'll give you treats. Treats. Yeah, a lot of treats. Spa. Yes. And you'll get down. some bitches. You could even sleep while it's mm-hmm. happening. Yeah, so he, he sits down and now he's like, he puts his two front paws up on the rail and now he's, he's interested in who wins. He goes, Fat? Who, you? No. <laughs> no, absolutely not. You're fit no, and he, handsome. He, 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 like, dog points to uh-huh. the stage. Yes, that's the one that we want to win. Fat. Uh, husky. <laughs> not husky. Wait, no, husky. not you. Yeah. Fat, we don't say anymore. Chewy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Days like, this shit better be autographed. Yeah. Well, yeah. Think, think gristle. <laughs> 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 Don't eat him. Yeah, right. Do you want your spa day? Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. They will even give you a new bow tie. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. he, he looks back. He appears to enjoy his little bow tie. Mm-hmm. Of, uh, and if you want, they'll put it around your neck next time. No. Tail. Tail? Okay, they'll yes. put it around your tail. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Blue. <laughs> we'll give you a blue one. All right. All right. Yeah, that works. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hope I win some Naruto. They'll make you smell like beef. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Mm. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do four rounds here. Everyone gets a die. Oh, you're going to pick one out for us? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh God. All right, so we're going to do... You're going to give me a blood die? I'll take a blood die if they get blood dies. Well, everyone wants a blood I'll take die. the sparkly. Should we all strange. roll with a blood oh, die? Yeah, roll. everyone roll the blood die. Everyone roll the blood die. Okay. Right. Let's, let's, let's have with no fun. consequences. Just all right. Stop. So we're gonna start. No, no, we're gonna go one at a time. And that's okay. going to be the that's going to be the winner to loser. Okay. So uh, one uh, so one through five, it's gonna be small dude. Uh, six through ten is gonna be big dude. Small guy. All right. So like. The larger gentleman comes up and like just very impressive handprints, and he just goes <gasps> and he flips him over his back. Like What's a two? A small guy. Small guy again. So as the guy gets. Are back, you gonna roll for Rasputin? I'm not sure. I mean, I, well, well, he I bet mean, too. Like, yeah, that's right. So yeah. I mean, that's actually the tiebreaker if it gets down to it. So, yeah. so that's two for the small guy. Four against him. What? Uh, that's two for the four. small guy. Yeah. yeah. So like after the after the super wrestler comes up, he straight, straightens up his uh, his traditional garb, goes again. He just steps out of the way, and the sumo wrestler almost goes out. <laughs> Everyone cheers. He regains his composure. Seven. Big guy. So the the very slight man. Kind of is getting a little bit too proud of, uh, too big of, too big of his own bridges, and like is looking to the crowd, and the big guy just picks him up and chucks him to the side. He does go out of the ring and just tippy tails himself back down. It's right like anybody the... versus McGregor. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so he does calm himself, and they go and they have this stand up. Right, he, the larger gentleman knows that he has one more loss. This will end the uh, end the evening for him. Well, if Ross Putin rolls the big guy, it's a tie, right? Yeah, yeah, so we so have to go it'll, again? It'll, it'll, it'll no, no, it'll right. go down to a tiebreaker. Okay. It's for the big guy. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, right, so. oh, Who rolls the no. tiebreaker? No, 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 no. So, you don't want to so, go another round for the tiebreaker? Yeah, I mean, like, just give me a second. So, so they, 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 they freeze in, in motion, right? The small guy somehow supporting this huge, massive man's like wait over them. It starts to bend and flex in which direction? Roll, darling. One through, uh, this is all one round. Two. Two, so that's a small guy. This seems to like almost get the, the, the larger gentleman off of the center of balance. He's starting to tip over. Go, Sarah. One. Again, small guy, uh, almost over. He's, uh, the... A one. 
she just steps out. Yay! Yeah, all right, boom. Yay! Yes! Fuzzy pajamas, here no. I come. Oh. Cerberus, I'm so sorry. Day, are we going to have a sleepover? We can watch your Japan show. Anna, that's we will... our thing. Have little fuzzy pajamas. Hell yeah. yeah right. Cerberus, I promise I'll get you a spa day regardless. There's no mating. You don't have to mate if you don't want no, to. I'm not pretty anymore. No, honey, we'll take you to a dog spa. We can do it for he, you. Like, he, he walks out and his tail is on the ground. Oh, Cerberus. Like, Cerberus, come back. Him. Everybody compliment him. Tell him he looks nice. Cerberus, come here, buddy. Come here. Have a bad on the fat guy. Yeah, right. Cerberus, you are looking like a little snack. <laughs> oh, see, Cerberus, you look so good. Like, like snack? No, not like our snack. Like, you look nice. Mm. Day, tell me it looks good. So this came. Right. Day! What? Yeah. I smack Day, like, hey! So a uh, uh, voucher, um, so, I'm sorry, what was what was your, oh, so you get the foot Fuzzy of pajamas. pajamas. You're like, you're like da, 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 da. I mean, like, girls show. come throughout the whole thing, you know, they got sparklers, like, you know, lit in their hands, and they're just very, very thrilled to, like, be giving you this thing. And it comes, and uh, it is fitted pajamas, and it is of uh, bats at the bottom. Like, they are, you know, like little... Just bat bats all over it? Bats all over But the slippers for, for the footed part of it, they're, they're big, kind of like, you know... Oh, very, how fantastic! Very anime bats, you yes. know? Uh, <laughs> yours, which one did you... Oh, you, you got the anime, they come... The anime collection. Yeah, I mean, like, they, you take a little picture with the girls, I mean, like, everything's done. Can I, like, I mean, snatch it from him and be like, Date, tell Cerberus he looks nice. What do you got to go my anime back? Day! They come over to you and they have a... Uh, I lost. Of, I know. Oh, can you autograph? please tell Cerberus? Mm -hmm. He's so yeah. sensitive. Oh, I look over at his autograph yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. hell yeah. yeah. Daedrith. Yeah, right. What? And, can you and, please and tell Cerberus he looks when you, good? When you look at yours, it's actually, it's, it's like bespoke, you know, like, I mean, like, a, uh, like Calvin Klein himself made him or whatever. Right. Fucking, I mean, like, whatever have you. Like, mm -hmm. these are designer, designer, like, one-offs, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, so I know it was a gag gift, but it's a very, comfortable. very nice gag gift. Right. Love you know, like, pajamas. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Egyptian cotton, whatever have you. Keep on Egyptian going Egyptian cotton full of pajamas. Yeah, right. Yes, this is perfect. So, um, a little British woman comes up to you and goes, excuse me, but I would like, um, there's a certain part of your debt that has needs to be finished. Right. Um, mm -hmm. How much time do I have to repay that? Uh, now. Ooh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nowhere did it say in front of everyone. I would like to do a private dance for either the man who won or I won. the bookie <laughs> in charge of the gambling. That uh, woman gets on her little laptop and goes, the gentleman that won will pay for the rest of everyone's time on your behalf. And he's agreed to have you have a private dance with him. Would you please walk this way? Of course. All right, she's getting let off. I would like another snack. Oh, so you just split the party. Cool. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to dance in front of everyone. Um, this is... I mean, like, there's also people in the crowd. You could try to seduce them, or do you want another one, just another, like, uh, one of the people that are walking around that are specifically made for this? Mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, comes up. It's like a buffet. I mean, you know, nice little Puerto Rican Oh, more like the, the beer guys at, like, a hockey game? Yeah, game. right. They're just like, mm -hmm. hey. I mean, like, but, I mean, like. Oh. Just... How, how many vampires are in the crowd here? AB positive. You know, oddly <laughs> enough, uh, you, you don't really know. You can definitely discern one that's just so extravagant. Either he's just that fabulous or he's a vampire. Uh, I mean, if you had aspects, you could look for it that way, but. I don't. Yeah, right. So, I mean, you, you see one individual. You, you're fairly sure just from the um, from the amount of, uh, uh, of strength that the slender person that you're going to go dance for, uh, he was a something. You don't know if he's a vampire or not, but he was definitely a something. He couldn't possibly have been off this giant man without that. Okay. Mm. I'm looking for a nice, light, be positive drink. Oh, very well. Okay, so he brings over, you know, like a, uh, he seems kind of dazed, like not completely there, like 
whatever has gone through, and he, he's been bit twice already. Mm-hmm. Not from your arm. And I crank his head to the side and go in. Yeah, after it, no problem. We're out in the back of the All that costs extra, right? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of the whole evening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well done. All right. Um, roll Jewel your, paper, um, father. Roll your uh, willpower, please, to see if, because uh, he already had the two bites before. So Yeah, I'm down to one of my hunger points from that is left. As one of them has to yes. be a blood dice. Yes. Five, four, nine, ten. You're good, and your blood dice were fine on that. Reroll the ten. Six. You're good. Three successes. Yeah, uh, you refill your one blood point. Are you trying to gorge yourself, or are you just trying to refill your blood points? You have a long evening. I mean, you're not going to get anything extra of it, but, you know, sometimes you get extra french fries. Maybe don't gorge yourself, because you might kill him. Take slightly more than what I need. Don't okay. gorge myself, but... You finish pulling your teeth out, you know, like, you, you can feel his heart slowing down mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as you do that. Can we get and... some oranges over here? Mm-hmm. This one looks like he may need a bit of a nap. And, and he goes, orange, and he witches out, and he... To get your hands <laughs> off I mean, of my like, breasts! I mean, like, I seem like it was an <laughs> orange. Sexy you boy. said orange. You sexy car boy. <laughs> yeah, right? Like... <laughs> Fine. Yeah, he walks away. He's like, ah, you think that you don't have melons, but little citrus things. You know I would rather have an orange than a melon, to be honest. But what's wrong with melon? There's nothing wrong with melon. I'm just saying, if I was going to have a preference, it would be for that. And it's because you've never been poor. You eat oranges, yes, when you're hungry and you have to feed many people. You want a melon. It makes sense in proverb. Trust me, just bad in translation. <laughs> it didn't make any sense. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Rasputin. Uh, I thought we were talking about boobs. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I think I had an epiphany. Was going after Rasputin, I think I get it. Yes. I get it now. What did he get now? I get the burrito. Ah, oh, good. Tell me a burrito. So, a burrito is layered but wrapped in itself. Time has layers and is also wrapped in itself. Like, Lawrence is legitimately looking at you and being like, hey, you know he's not that far off. And as Putin goes, ah, every blind squirrel finds nuts. But the cane. I'm still not <laughs> telling you about cane. Oh. I mean, like... I stare at the cane. Yeah, right. <laughs> Actually, uh, if you'd like, you can roll a cult to see if you know how he does it or not. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You're looking for two sevens. Like, he's never told you this one. And not that it's ever bothered you, but you've always, he's always done this. So it's it's cool. Cool. Yeah. So, so many dice. What do two, I want? Two sevens? Two sevens. So many dice. <laughs> Eight, ten, nine. Reroll the ten. Tuck it a one. Oh, you got there a one is over a one there. over here. Yeah, right. No, it, it actually bothers you. The drugs are starting to kick in. She got an and eight. I know. But oh, she but she needed two sevens. Two sevens. Yeah, right. And she also rolled a one off of the ten and had a one already. So she get no successes. So you don't realize that the drugs are kicking in until you look up and it's just you and Day, like, close to it, like, staring at the cane that has just <laughs> stood stuck. Can I down. also roll? Because I get a plus two occult and I have zero otherwise. Sure, sure. Okay, is it a plus one or a plus two to occult with my, my uh, shrooms? With your shrooms, you got, I think we said plus one to okay. occult. So I get a one in occult and yeah. it's intelligent. Wait, so I could have rolled six? No. Oh, you're on shrooms. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you also get, would get the same Add advantage. one more die. So Add one more die, so... Roll one dice? Yes. Well, you got one success because you, you had one a... one success, so you're looking You had a seven, a seven, eight, ten, right? And then you had two ones, two so you ones, would have one, one success. success. Three. So, you eh. see, yeah. But yes, for this time period that this is on, you do have plus, uh, plus okay. one to a cult. Okay. Need, uh, or was it plus two? I feel like it's plus one. That'd be too powerful. I have no idea. Yeah. Um, I need, what, two eights? It's just a yeah. drug, so probably like a plus two seven. one. Two seven, two seven. No, I'm fucked up. <laughs> yeah, right. So you both just have that moment Like poking of it, going yeah, poke, right, poke, yeah, poke, right. poke, 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 poke. Yeah, right. It, yeah, it just, it just stays as if it was a shelf, you know. So. Do you suppose it's like that one day of the year where you can stand an egg on its end? <laughs> I think it's a magnet. A magnet. What? It couldn't be a magnet. 
But couldn't it? That sounds so silly. It's Rasputin. It's a burrito. Oh. As this is happening, you're getting... You, you get yeah, I'm whisked away. Yeah, all right. Lawrence is just having the time of his life, not watching the thing. There, there's other things now. There's like, you know, girls doing the ribbon dancing and just a really wonderful spectacular. And this is like a show. Cerberus is still with them, right? Oh, yeah. Cerberus is yeah. staying, you know. Cerberus is... And like he did every once in a while looking back at his tail and now doesn't like his thing quite as much as he did because he knew that there could have been another one. So he's just, you know, I guess I, I, guess I like this one. <laughs> All right, so you get locked away. It's a beautiful room. Um, they ask you to take your, um, as you walk up, the two uh, wax paper doors get pulled across. It's a large table. Uh, there's not really chairs. There are uh, cushions. cushions for everybody. And a place that you already see a couple of very traditional shoes laid, you know, taken off. You know, this is, I don't know if you would know this etiquette, but uh, what is your... Um, My etiquette? Actually, I think you have an etiquette. We do. Yeah. yeah. What's your etiquette? So, Zero. Yeah, cool. So your etiquette and your wits. Because you'd be able to see the other shoes and be like, oh, maybe I should do take it. Do you want me to roll shoes. for it? Yep. And uh, <coughs> because you have zero right. etiquette, I want one eight out of those. Um, I got one nine. Hey, no ones? No, but you got no I got an eight, a one, and a nine. Okay, so, so you're good. Yeah. yeah. You go to take a step, you step on the, the grass mats, and you pick up your foot, but you see the spot that you leave. And you look at the shoes and you realize maybe it's a good idea to take off your shoes. Is there a hole in the middle of the room? No, there's not. It's a raised Fine. Table. I'll take my shoes off. Mm-hmm. If there was a pole, the shoes would help, but... No, it's not... A, I mean, it's not a strip club, you know what I mean? This is I like, know, I know. So I'll take yeah. my shoes off. The doors are closed behind you, and surprisingly enough, it uh, kind of knocks out a lot of that noise that, you know, was... The ruckus, especially with the girls getting on stage, is too... He walks in. Who? The gentleman that won the battle. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he's still in his gi. And he sits down, very straight backs, very business like. Come in. Sit. Sit? Would you prefer to dance right now, or would you like to get to know one another first? I have this paid for your dance for quite a lot of people in attendance. Right, but I lost my bet for a dance. I just figured I'd get it over with. If you would prefer me to sit, I can do that as well. Yes. I have word to make this more interesting. He reaches back in, and he has a handful of throwing knives. Oh, you did want to make this interesting, huh? You want to get on the table or not? You can, you can say no, you can do whatever you'd like here. Yeah, I'll crawl up onto the table. Okay. He whips one, and it, like, shoots. And we actually let me roll to see. Oh, he's throwing them? I thought they were just laid out on the table. No, oh. oh, okay, okay. So, like, you do that classic, like, you know, that sexy... Yeah, crawl, crawl onto the table. As your hand was about to go to the next place, ding! And it makes you, like, reach back, and you see the smallest of smiles. I lay my hand down, with the knife, like, between my fingers. Like, were you trying to hurt me? I'm fairly sure that you would know if I wanted that. Well, then I suppose I trust you. I guess I swing my legs over the side of the table. As, as you do, I'm just gonna throw again. Still in that very businessman type, but there's three glass, there's three more knives stuck in the same thing. So I like, I lean in and I just kind of like open my legs with my hands, reach up towards my hips, yeah. across my thighs. He's actually gonna try to catch your skirt. Between my legs yeah. or on the side? Well, okay. Like Welcome to Vampire. <laughs> Ding. Like the moment that it, the moment that you started to pour, boom, hits. So you're now your dress is now skewered to the table. <sighs> I liked this dress. Green. I know a person in this town that just arrived that enjoys the color green. Well, now you've ruined it. I think you owe me a new one. My bet was only to satisfy you with a dance, but you've completely destroyed my dress at this point. The dress can be replaced. Exactly. Friendships only happen once. Well, we're not friends yet, are we? Oh, but you seem to have quite an interesting group with you. Particularly one 
in a very dark suit. Not one of our favorites, to be completely honest. Um, can I do like an intelligence and insight check to see what sure. he's after? Absolutely. Uh, this is it, uh, he's he's brain he's being pretty specific, so uh, this is only going to be a two sixes. Okay. Nine and nine and a ten. Oh yeah, uh, re-roll the ten. A two, mm-hmm. so two nines. You're good. Yeah, three. That's three successes. It only. Yeah, uh, three successes. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know immediately he's talking about the Justicar. That's oh, who, okay. That's who because you rolled so well. Mm-hmm. He's not just talking about the Justicar. It also dawns on you that he knows the Justicar's favorite color. Do I... Is he a vampire? Can I tell? For that, you'd have to make another... The same kind of roll you just made. Okay. Yeah, you're listening for a heartbeat right now. Yeah, this would be... Two sixes. If just for vampire. Just still human. intelligence and insight? Yeah. Okay. Eight, eight, six. No heartbeat. I want to get real close to him. And, like, go up next to his neck. You're pierced to the ground. Yeah, right. No, I can. I I want to pull pull the dagger out. 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 Yeah, throw it to the side. Go up next to his neck and like whisk my fangs out. See if he reacts. He's straight back. You're not. Doesn't doesn't seem to be phased by your aggression at all. So, seems like we're the same. I know you won that fight for a reason. There's many things in this part of town that are for the night's entertainment. What we don't like is oversight. And you are bringing a Jessica, any, like, because you're, like, leaning this way, right? Yeah, I'm, like, over him. Mm -hmm. Uh, Fast as a blur. Stakes one side of your dress. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like, as it would flow off your hips. The other hand, boom, on the other side of your skirt. It's a skin tight dress, so his perfection of that tells quite a lot of his. Skin. Well, he'd already ripped it, so it's a yeah, little right. farther off. Sure, sure. Well, now you fully ruined my dress. And you're certainly beginning to fully ruin my little part of my city. How so? It is bad manners to bring big wolves into places with lambs. Do you not realize what's happened to the rest of the world? I know, and we have tried very hard. To keep everyone out else. Have out you of. not looked at the rest of my party? Do you realize who we're walking with? Is Rasputin it? is here. I have to admit, I like the Rasputin. We have one ancient with us. That's definitely news to him. And four vampires of the highest class. He, uh, he didn't even seem to hear the rest of it. He goes, Thank you so much for the dance. And no, no, no. Come back. And, and I grab him. You want me to roll, you like, strength? You definitely can try. Okay. Uh, I mean, it would be your brawl versus his dexterity and, your, and his brawl. Just my brawl against his dex and no, brawl? No, no, no. Actually, no. For him to see it coming, that would be your dex and brawl versus his. Uh, yeah, but it's different on this one. It's uh, probably his wits and brawl. Okay. What are you looking for? Just numbers against numbers? Yeah, numbers, numbers. Uh, six, uh, six is enough. Okay. One, two, three successes. I have three tens and eight a six. Roll, re-roll your tens. tens. Right? Isn't that the neatest little house rule? I love that rule. So I'm at three, four, five right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I at least have him, like, turn around? Uh, actually, he... With dead success, he can do whatever he wants, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, six, you go you go to reach oh. for him. And for who, what this type of person is, you'll understand why he this is so fluid. Uh, your hand, he catches it and puts it nicely back down by your side in one fluid motion. You do it anything was, to hurt my party, and, and, and I will end you. As you say that, you realize that his removal of your hand on from him to you was very respectful, just exceptionally fast. That's fine. Yeah, right. He just bows to you. So. I don't think you realize how many people we have backing us. You, listen to those you think that you can overpower me? 
Those I'm not the most powerful in our group. You ever try to just make friends, Danica? <laughs> if anything, very character specific. I, I am the least of your concerns. I'm the lowest ranking person. Do you know who my sire is? He wouldn't know that. Have you ever heard of the Corleone family? I'm very aware of your lineage and your sire's claim to fame. Oh, good. So you know who I am. Titles is not what makes impressions in a city like this. Have you heard of what I can do? I've heard that Dante was in the need for a muscle, and he found a whore on a street that provided that for him. <laughs> if only that were the truth. Well, then you need to talk to your sire, because this is the story that we have all been given. Well, Dante's very good at hiding his intentions. This is one of the reasons he has lived as long as he has. No, he's lived as long as he has, because I was there protecting him, as I was as a human. Dante almost died in the streets, and I saved him as a mortal. You think I'm any less than that as a vampire now? He's kind of taken aback for a second and goes, I believe you are finding harm in between me not allowing you to finish your dance. What you've given me is much more useful than anything that your hips could do. Well then how about if it's useful? You take me to whoever you're going to, and I deliver the information personally. I have a feeling that our paths, paths will cross again this evening, and... Well then, how about you promise me you will not hurt myself or the rest of the people with me, and we'll call our debt settled. Because technically I'd never danced for you. For the cost of your dress, I will not hurt the dog. You touch Cerberus, and I swear I'll make your life a living hell. More so than it already is. Do anything else to my friends, and I'll make it a thousand times worse. He's gonna roll his rage for a second. Can I, <laughs> can I roll my intimidation? Yeah, you, yes you can. Against, uh, sure, against his willpower not to do something bad. Um, oh, sorry. Was that negative one? Yeah. Yeah, two nines. Negative one. He catches you. Not hard, but the speed and the strength that you saw him demonstrate just a little while ago, that precision. He wasn't beating the big man because he was stronger than him. You actually saw when they were finally wrestling that they were actually pretty, pretty evenly matched. Mm -hmm. Hmm, well, it's, that's it's, kinky. It's if the, I knew that's what you wanted, then I would have done something differently. He's just going to walk you out to the door, open the screens, and let you go. Can I speak to him one last time? Sure. You can do with that information as you want, but I think it would be beneficial to all of us to work together. As you said, our paths will cross again tonight, so do what you will, but... I didn't want to threaten you, but you threatened my family. I don't remember doing this. He did not. <laughs> at any point. Uh, did he do that? Uh, like he, he turns and he, you know, starting to walk away. All right. You want to walk away? Yeah, I want to walk away. As you start walking away, that last knife he has in his hand, right before you're going to take the next step, is just in the floorboard. And you just keep it, you assume it came from him. I'm gonna take it. That's cool. <laughs> your your dress now has one hole. Two holes. Three holes. Actually. Three holes. Three holes. Yeah. He might not have directly threatened everyone, but he like implied. I don't remember that happening. I didn't have it what? Long. He said the information he gave me was worth more than a dance, and you're like, I'll fucking kill you. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you roll for if you saw that last? That's sure. Very nice. But also, Danica's still in shock, so she's not used to saying my sire was. So, she's still referring to him as if he's there. Uh, that would be. Yeah, awareness and. Um, wits. Uh, you're looking for two sixes. Well, I got a 10. Well, you gotta re roll the 10. Didn't oh, see it. Nope, you didn't. I'm like, 
have my fluffy pajamas yeah. half on. Yeah, right, right, yeah. <laughs> like the bottoms are on, and I'm like, yeah. hey! As Danica's walking back, how are you looking? I mean, like, did that bother you? Did it shake you at all? I think I'm mildly annoyed and kind of pissed that my dress is fucked up. Yeah. Anna picked this out for me. I go up and I'm like, Anna! Did you not dance sexy enough? I did, but like, now my dress is ruined. David looks over and is like, oh, I've stepped on a dress before too. All you need is like a half cross stitch and then you just take the fabric from... David, can you fix it for me? Yeah, what do you think I do for most of my time? They put me in the costume department. Can you fix it and make it look not bad? I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to to get someone tonight. I mean, I would have, you'd have to take it off, but I mean. Okay, I pulled David into like a. But I, don't, I, I didn't sign up for this. Like, <laughs> is the cane yeah. weighted? Like a fan yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, inspiration, boy. Oh, my God. We'll get that's that one. Oh, I don't know God. what we're going to use inspiration points for, but oh. they're going to be neat. I pulled David into one of those, like, family bathrooms that's one stall and you can, like, lock the door. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, okay, so... You and David are now. Just Anna, do you have a sewing kit? Yeah, no, he does. He's like, I oh, always okay. can't travel with. Anna. All right, David, come with me. In fact, I got a brand new one on the plane. It's come on, like, right like, now, yeah, let's like, go. Yeah. The, go into the bathroom, lock the door, David, yeah. take the dress off. I'm like, please, yeah, right. fix this. Mm-hmm. So, if anything, make it look better if you can. Lawrence, uh, yeah. So you, you're you're. You've now gone in the yeah. bathroom with David. David is, is hemming your three dresses, uh, three three holes in your dress. Lawrence is getting there and he gets another one of those sex messages. It's yeah. like, God, I'm gonna look over. Really... Can I glance over and see if I can see anything? Or is it, it probably is. in Japanese? Yeah, God I mean, damn it. It definitely is. Why do I ask these questions? What an amazing thing for you guys to have chosen as a skill this for this one. I mean, like, yeah, I'll learn Japanese. That'll never come There is handy. a language skill. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, hey, Lawrence, you're uh, looking a little tense there. Come on, talk to me. <sighs> it's. People are aware that I'm in town and it's. I mean, I left here for a reason. And I get that. It's going to be very, very difficult to not go and at least check in, especially with all that's happened. I mean, not just what's happening to the world or with me, it's what's happening to the world. You know, this is, I mean, I I can't even describe how the last couple of days were. And he looks over to you, Anna. I mean, like, you guys are sitting next to each other, Mm -hmm. right? And he, he was like, I don't, I mean, Honestly, I, I'm I'm really. This is not my normal life. I don't know how about you guys, but this is not something. That, I mean, I mean I you started as an Uber driver. Yeah, that, hey, I hey, was happy. he was the Uber driver. Thank I will you. have to agree with that. But I mean, that, but I mean, <laughs> but you do have a point. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I was running away from. I mean, like I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I'm kind of running away from my family. What they expected out of me, you know? It's it's. Yes, do do I have a little window into your world? Sure, but I, this is just getting to a lot, I mean, a, a whole lot of much, and... You know, Lawrence, I spent most of my... Hell, I've lived three lives just running away. He, he kind of like, considers that, like, and, uh, take it into your, li- like, your yeah, lifespan, yeah. and, like, yeah. And honestly, I think you just gotta rip the band-aid off. While you're here... You know, right the wrongs, figure out what's going on. Yeah. Rasputin reaches his arm around. He's like, yeah, family is fun. Look, we like each other. This is all good. We couldn't get rid of him if I wanted to. I don't know if she likes me right now, but you don't also know what I want in my bet. Oh, stop it. Yeah, you know I that I love you. No. <laughs> It's disgusting, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, and then, like, so he takes his little white, like, his white ticket that he's been handed. And he, like, got you presents. And he hands you the white ticket. Now look at it. It's just, it's a, a beautiful, like, perfect calligraphy uh, Asian symbol of some sort. What does it mean? I give you so many books, you still don't learn. You own the place now. What? You don't want to know what I bet. I figure, fuck it, everything's dying anyway. What, do you mean this whole place is mine now? Well, yeah, it's yours. What the hell am I going to do with it? Could we put this, the, the dumb David, could we put his show here? Yeah, I go fuck to him. And he points off in the other direction, and there is a person waiting with a thing that's looking at Trans- Rasputin that had the thing, had the marker for the ho- for this establishment. It's now been passed to you. They are with an iPad. Awaiting orders. Yeah, awaiting orders. 
Okay. I will go and talk to them and I will start to describe what we need to do to get to the David show happening here in this establishment for the vampire audience. Really? It isn't a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, right? You got the biggest guy in Vegas. Things could be worse for the David. Yeah. A relocation might be good. Yeah, right. Yeah, all, all you hear is in the in the bathroom. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Like, <laughs> like for whatever chaos is happening in there. Oh my God, David! Yeah, right. <laughs> We are really going to have to figure out Rasputin how to turn him from the dumb David into the David that we knew. Well, becoming vampires not make you smarter. But I know this, but there must have been something that you did to the other David. I didn't turn David. Who I'm turned David? Other, other Tremere, not me. Ooh. You know. Do we have to go to the Malkavians for this David? Don't even joke with Malkavian. No, I'm asking real I questions. I know many things. People think I'm crazy. No. Always say I'm Malkavian. No, Rasputin, I know better. I know you're not. But how do you turn dumb David into great David? Oh, no, like there's there's things that can be done, but like... Can it be stupid. like Matrix and we can just download to his brain? <laughs> We're also useful over time. It's like if I'd like to learn how to shoot gun, right? You don't, you pick up gun, you shoot gun bad. You pick up gun enough time to shoot gun, you shoot gun good. So. Right, but here's the situation. We need to have this David with 30 years of experience and showmanship and the magic, which I can do no problem, but we've got to give it to him like overnight, basically, to make this work. Well, uh, David well, looks over and he's, you yeah. know, wide eyed. Yeah. Like, well, it doesn't have to be overnight. I mean, you could, you know, you have to build a, a stage and, you know, a certain thing for him. But. Oh, you're a business girl? <laughs> 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 you're business cocaine. That's yeah. fucking fantastic. Right. However. <laughs> like, I don't like these ideas. He reaches into your pocket with the original cocaine yeah. first and is like, continue to talk. Yeah, hey, it's fine. Oh, no, no. Thing. It's like, okay, so we're going to fix dumb David okay, now. So, okay, so, but here's oh, the thing. David, stop doing that! Yeah, right. He's like, so here's no. the thing, here's the thing. If he, he survives. Get, yeah, he won't get smarter, but... Yes. He will be faster and stronger. And you want to impress vampires in this city. Yeah. It's not a bad idea to at least give him something... What, do you want to make him ghoul? Well, we could start off with that and see how he does. Give him a little bit of juice. <laughs> Give him a little bit of juice. Yeah, just a little bit of juice, you know? <laughs> yeah. we could he be we a thin get... blood and then I mean, pull traits could, from everywhere? He could... Uh, or a caitiff? Uh, change... Oh. He could change the act a little bit and maybe go Malkavian, perhaps? Like oh, what no, if... he would have a nervous breakdown immediately. Have you seen how dumb he is? What if, like, we, okay, what if, what, what okay. if we start with, like, like, like you know, a little I bit got... of card magic or something? You Has know? David fixed my dress yet? Can I come out and join yeah. the conversation? Yeah. You come out, you storm out, the, the dress is fixed. Can I imagine but... it's just, like, too, like, you know, the scrunchy... Yeah, yeah, and, like, he, and he actually surprised me. ...lines up the two sides yeah. of a dress where it's, like... And he said, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He surprisingly did a good job, but when David walks out, he's holding the thing. He has a black eye, <laughs> and like he's just, I mean, like it, it looks like he got oh, fucked hard man and up, up I mean, a little he did bit. Not, but like he just got the crap almost beat out of him as he's thirdly tried That's to like, well, bleeding Lord. fingers. And My dress like, doesn't look as good as it did before, but I suppose this will work for the rest of the night. I'm okay. Looks yeah, a little sir. bit like drapes. Nobody gives a shit, David. You know, can I get back on the plane? I don't know. <laughs> oh, David, you're, you, you live here now. Yeah, David, I've got some news for you. Don't put me back in the bathroom. That was a horrible experience. No, 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 no. You don't ever have to go back into that bathroom again. Oh, but I need to tell you that we're going to rebuild your show and we're going to do it right here in this place. You live he here now, around. David. Welcome home. Like, well, I guess like there's no more. I don't have to sew anything anymore. Or David, so? <gasps> I mean, as you... annoying as you were, thank you. He kind of straightens up. It's like, oh. For fixing oh, okay. my dress. David, how would you like to sew for fun from now on? I, I'd prefer to be David Copperfield. All right. That's like on the table still, or like is that on the table? Or This is what we're talking about. Okay. Why else well, would then... you think that David would be here? <clears throat> and David, I, uh, oh, um, so, I'm sorry for like, you, you, you see, the abuse. Yeah. Thank you. 
Like, you, you see Rasputin goes, I do not give her the drugs. Did I give her the drugs? No, it don't seem that she has had the I look drugs. over one. I, I think she's it? lost her mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like choking down yeah, the words. Right, like, yeah, I'm, right, yeah. I'm sorry for abusing yeah, you, but right, it, right. it wasn't your fault was... that my dress was torn up. I just wanted it fixed very badly. Well, you're welcome, but can I ask, who, who actually tore your dress? It doesn't matter. Well, you all of They're gone that, now, or? it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, it's fine. If if I need to start a new, uh, I mean, who I was it? I mean, I own the place now. I can can their asses and throw them out on the nose. I um, I tore it while I was dancing. Those those look like those kinds of tear marks. I it, um, seen those there were just marks like before. a couple of sharp edges. You know, I, um, I, I haven't danced in a while. I tripped over a table and. Can I uh, awareness? You or? can. Uh, it's kind of like an insight check. Yeah. I'm not used to this type of room. The floor was unsteady. So it would be... Actually, just do a straight roll from your manipulation mm-hmm. to your intelligence. Uh, sixes are successes. I got one success. Yep, you do. Uh, you guys have that stare off. Like, do I believe you? I don't know. Do you believe me? I don't know. Do you believe me? Yeah. Oh, oh, one ho, ho. success. Three tens. That could also be three ones. So, three, so you got four successes all day. I got one. Um, she is holding something that you don't know what it is, obviously. Now look, we have hung upside down for hours at this point together. We had some bubble baths together. I mean, you kissed me earlier. That was a little weird, but I feel like I know you well enough. Uh, yeah. Silver's <laughs> go- <laughs> Silver's <goes. laughs> Mating. Yeah, mating. I feel like at this point, I know you well enough to know when you're not Anna, exactly telling. Can we, can we, can we, can we uh, explain no, that? Can no, we talk later no, in private, no, please? No, no, no. This is my place now. Yes, if I don't is want mis- the rest of the is group to hear Epps name on the information. Oh, I can do this. Anna! Can we just talk? Danica! Talk some place private, please. No. You Why? must tell me because I am the boss now. So right, you but must, I don't... You must, you need to tell me. It's embarrassing. I don't want everyone else to hear. Please. Was the man being bad to you? Um, because you know that I do not tolerate this. You, Anna! You, you don't need to answer, but if, if she does convince you. I mean, Anna, I don't want to talk about it right here. Can I do manipulation? Uh, yeah, yeah. Against my what? Uh, wits. I got a minus one. Three. Two. She, uh, she looks at you and you see friendship. Genuine which, concern. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, usually Dante would demand something out of you when you'd hold out on him. So can uh, I be like, Anna, I, re- I really trust you. Can we just please go somewhere safe? And talk about this because there's we don't know who's around. Uh, there's that, so that, many people that here. Role, she has you. That's what that I role. know, and I'll tell her. But like, there's so many people around us right now, and I don't know who to trust. Oh, fine. Listen, if you talk very quiet, I can still hear. Okay, Anna. So, the man I had to go dance for was the smaller of the wrestlers. Was well, a little shit. Yeah. Okay. Him. And, um, he, <laughs> he was trying to, was trying to intimidate me. And I, um, I just, I tried to tell him who we were. I was trying to throw it right back in his face. You know, I told him we had Rasputin. I had several vampires and he didn't seem fake. He was also a vampire, which explains why he won the fight, right? Yes. And, um, as soon as I you know, kind of just kind of mentioned that Lawrence was like an ancient or whatever. Uh, he seemed to get up and he wanted to go tell some people about it. And so I tried to stop him and then he got mad and like, 
Okay, so at what point did your dress get ruined? Oh, no, he was throwing knives at me the whole time, but that doesn't matter. Throwing knives at you. So oh, no, that's time. fine. It's just the fact that... Was like, your sexy dancing go? that bad that he was throwing the no, knives? No, he didn't even give me the chance to dance. I'm sure it would have gone differently if I had, but he just, um, he just seemed really concerned that, like, Lawrence was an ancient or whatever, but then, like, there are some knives involved, and, uh... Okay. Yeah, so that was that was the end of it. I mean, I went to walk out, and he threw another knife, and, like, my dress got ripped a couple times, but whatever. David fixed it, so it's fine. Let's just go have a fun night, right? Right. Right. So, Anna, I don't know what to make of that. Um... You and Lawrence are actually just geeking out over the side. Dude, so. it's autographed. I can't believe it. Do you know how rare that is? Dude, Honestly. I'm starting over in season one. I've watched it like 36 yeah, right. times, but like this is different. I don't even really want to open it, to be completely honest. Oh. Like it's going to lose so much value oh, immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you, actually, you know, like, 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 what? Like, we can open it. Let's see if like I can put it back in the case. Oh, dude, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that'd be kind of awesome. Sounds awesome. Yeah. So, um, do you think we need to like protect <laughs> Lawrence, or <laughs> do we need to what? Sorry. Protect Lawrence, I or do you think we're okay? Because the only interesting thing to that guy was like. What I mean, kind of, sort of mentioned the word ancient. Sure, sure. What else did you tell him about our group? Just that we had Rasputin and like a couple of a handful of vampires. Right. And that we were all pretty powerful. Right. I didn't mention the Jaskar, the Walking Saint, the Fnatic. I didn't mention the Prince or any of that. I only mentioned that we had Rasputin. We had four or five strong vampires. But uh, as soon as I did that, he got like kind of aggressive-ish after I attacked him. Okay. Do um, you, uh, look, I'm not the best at like the one-on-ones. Dante usually handled that. Well, you see, my dear, this is where your whole world is going to change. I it? just, I'm not used to um, having to do the, the talking. That was never my strong point. Right, but it's going to have to become that. Yeah, no, I understand that. It's just that everything is so new to me, and okay, it's so, like, fresh in my mind, is, and, like, here is I lost my sire. Fine, listen, listen, my darling dear, my new friend, listen. Anna. Listen, it's all going to be okay. Anna, I don't know if I can do this. No, it's going to be okay. Anna. What is your problem? I lost my I. Can't. I know that you did, my dear. Anna, I don't think it's going to be okay. Dear, of course it's going to be okay. Do you want to know How? why it's going How to be okay? How is this going to be okay? It's going to be okay because we are friends. Do I ever seem like I am not okay? No. Do I always seem like I am a little bit crazy? I mean, yeah. Do you not think that maybe this is on purpose? I mean, I never really know. You just kind of seem like batshit all the time, but... Right. We get along, so I mean, maybe... Right. I am telling you right now that if somebody has a problem with you, they have a problem with me, which okay, means they so have the problem with Rasputin. I mean, the one other the one other thing that this guy said, he said that, like, he would see me later tonight, so if he does show up, like, what are we... <laughs> what are we gonna do? Um, what we do have exactly what you told him about so now that now that you're not post posturing you're worried about the strengths of the people that are surrounding no you. i'm not worried about their strength like you know <clears throat> you know i can take anyone but like but you don't have to do this on your own anymore is what i'm trying to tell you i you, know you have know. people just, around you now i'm just uh, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm just worried about the rest of you why are you worried about the rest of us Cause you know, like, I don't, I don't want anyone to get hurt. Like, you guys are all I have. Right, and it's actually more than you had before, right? I know. It's just that, like, we never had these large of issues before, and Dante was always so good so at like what the obnoxious about being from the no, mafia no, all no, the time. No, 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 you don't understand. He was just, he was so good at convincing people to do what he wanted. Like, yeah, sure. Have there you to met my sire? Right, right when you say that, he goes, I don't like your plant anymore. Like, <laughs> and he breaks like a thousand year old bonsai. He goes, just ask cards, fine. 
see? I mean, like, there no, he was just, no he was, he was no so way. good. <laughs> he was just so good at convincing people to do what he wanted that I, I was just there for protection, you know? I didn't ever really have to. I know, you were the lapdog. You were the cat. I wasn't animal. the lapdog. Yes, you were. <sighs> and now you don't need to be anymore. This is where you're going to learn new things, and it's going to be a whole new world. Not just for you, but for all of us. Look at what we are facing. There are snake gods running around. Just right. I know. Oh my god, your dad. I know, he's a little bit wacky. No, but... he's fine. It's just I'm trying to talk to you and have a serious conversation, and your dad... He's just back there making a bunch of noise. And it's, this is what he does. You'll get used to this. I can promise. we just go to the bathroom so I can like ugly cry for a minute? You don't even need to ugly cry. Put the tears away. <laughs> put them I don't away. Know if I can't. Zip them up. What? Put the tears away. Jesse. Jesse. Sounds up. Would you come here for a Anna, minute? No. He hears that. And he's like. <laughs> Inspecting you for wounds. <laughs> this is what I need you to do, Jesse. Will you please help me out for a minute? Like, like he's he's at this point almost getting worried over you. Right. Like, I mean, like, like what? So, Jesse, do you know where there is a gym here in this place? Not necessarily this building, but close. I'm trying by. not to sob in the background. Yeah. Like with weights? Like punching bags and staffs and swords. I mean, I... I mean, I... When I come to town, it's usually first of all to the palace, which has a wonderful weight room. And then I take care of whatever quarry I'm here for. Of course. And then I essentially leave to wherever the next palace and quarry is. Well, this palace, does it have punching bags and things like this in it, or is it only for weightlifting? Yeah, like yeah. some punching bags. I'm just it's looking like for I... a little bit of physical therapy, and I feel like you are going to be the best guy to help her work through this particular <laughs> issue. There's a lot going on. Oh, in yeah. I just straight up like, oh, yeah, no, I'm totally fine. You want to... Danica, there's two caves. I get it. <laughs> Right day, yeah, Wait, for no, sure. No, no, scratch that. No, there's more caves. Yeah, right. Okay, you, yeah. You, you mm -hmm. just rescue them. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> like the two game thing. It's like <laughs> Jessica looks at you. Goes like, oh no, I'm so good. I like wipe the running mascara off my face. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm I'm so good right now. Will you please take her to a gym and give her some punches and take some punches and maybe swing some staffs around and give her some couple of new bruises. These things to be the things that she understands and the things that she knows. She needs reassurance. This is definitely not my bag. Do you, do you trust me? Good lord. Will you help, like, please? Yeah, tr trust? No. No, please, you must. He, he looks over. Just so all of my just emotion coming out since I killed Dante is just 100%. Yeah, right. spilling yeah. out no, of yes, my body. Yeah. He looks over and like is definitely rethinking the way he thought about things a little bit earlier. Cool. He because he doesn't know. I mean, he doesn't. Oh yeah, no, anymore. ugly crying in front of anyone is this absolute turn off. Yeah. Um, What's the word? You know, when you're making the sword and you dip it into the oil. Is that too Yes, this is her tempering period, fine, and I we can... need you to shape her a little bit. Uh, I'll take you. I, I, there's a, I'm sure some place has a gym. I, I see that you have katanas. I, I left them back at the I the done... mansion, though. I, well, I haven't done edge training for a while. Well, I'm 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 really good with my my hands. She just needs to go, and she needs to have this pounded out for a little bit. <laughs> Anna. What? Yeah. This is not what I wanted to be when that happened. What do you mean? The punches and the the throwing around? Wait, what are, what are you talking about? I'm talking about him taking you to a gym to, for some physical activity. Uh, oh. You're a strong girl, well, right? You said pounding. That's not what I... Right, the ground and pound. Is that oh, not God, what they call Anna. it? Okay, you know I, what? Fine. I, I, I'm going to go out. I'm going to hit some shit. Right. And then I'll find you, and, and I will better. teach you the true meaning of pounding. And you will feel better? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. You're in your club. Mm -hmm. Rasputin, and he goes up smashing one more tree, and he goes, no, I like this one. 
And he puts it back up gently. No, I keep this. Yeah. Okay. Rasputin. <laughs> what do you want? I think that uh, you, blink, blink. Need to have a discussion. There's something wrong with your face. No, took you way need too to. too long for it to open and close. I twice. know, I know. I think it's the drugs that uh, they gave me earlier. But what I need you to do is find the small man and have a conversation. He works for you. I know, but I think that me having a conversation will not be nearly as effective as you having the conversation. He dresses up. It's fine because of my shirt, isn't this? Is I, I take off graphic tee and now I'm a responsible dad. No, this is not like it I'm never at all. wearing ruffles again. Listen, we may have a problem. Of what? I'm not quite sure yet, but this small man is a key to it. Okay. Looks over and he, like, like, he's always like a sulking child mm -hmm. until he's not. Mm -hmm. He like straightens up very quickly. Like, he like stares at you, rolls his eyes, and immediately goes into a different type of who he is. Mm -hmm. uh, he sees the person that was check, you know, like waiting for your checkboard. Snaps his fingers, has a small conversation, you know, and like person goes flying out. They come back. He, like he grabs the iPad from their hand before they leave. He hits four buttons. Blah blah blah. Three other people come up right to right to him. Mm -hmm. Putting out directions, 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 directions. Boom, he looks over to you. Hmm? <laughs> Can I have your cane? Yeah, all right. <laughs> I tell you what, if you'll find this little small man, I'll teach you the thing of the cane. This is my mission. And thanks again for joining us for this Vampires and Vitae. It's always our pleasure to take care of you at our table. Uh, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe or share it with a friend. Uh, we're going to build this wonderful community together. And always remember, take a big bite out of life.